Some of you might remember that I posted a community post on my channel that I'm creating a custom version of Windows 10 that can run on 1 gigabyte of RAM without any performance loss compared to when you run it on 8 gigabytes of RAM. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you the custom operating system that I, I have made. Let's get started. <laughs> So the custom operating system that I made is not fully complete yet, meaning that I'm still have some settings to tweak before I can release it to the public so you guys can download it. But right now, let's give it, let's power on the virtual machine. Oh wait, wrong button. So this is based on Windows 10 Pro version 21H2. <coughs> so let's set it up here. The boot time off camera is faster, and the reason why it's slower is because if my Mac just starts thermal throttling. I might, I'm planning on to get a new computer, maybe just replace the thermal paste. As you can see here, we got a command line based login, which I'll get to in a second. Let's try to prepare a window, I have verbose mode on. Okay, we're in the desktop. Now, you can see here we have the old cursor from Windows 9X. We got little, no programs. The start menu is basically very bare bone. Let's that explore a little here. We got our drive. Well, this weighs a lot right now. It weighs like 14 gigs, but I will shrink the size. And you can see here we have this drive, the DVD drive, 810 utilities. Now, the command line login, you can see here I have this file CMD logon, CMD shell, GUI logon, GUI shell. So, CMD logon basically changes, so uh, it was sh instead of showing the default login prompt, the GUI one will show the command line one, the one that looks like. The one that looks like a command prompt. CMD shell is basically just replacing the explorer taskbar with CMD. So after you log on, it will open CMD instead of explorer. GUI logon, which basically changes the CMD look of Windows, the Windows login interface to the GUI interface that you know and familiar with. And then GUI shell changes command prompt to the explorer. So you see this taskbar and stuff when you log in. So yeah, as you can see, we have like nothing here. If I type edge, there's nothing. I also disabled the internet searching because since Microsoft Edge is not installed on here and there is no internet explorer, you can see here. So yeah, let's reboot into, let's just reboot to show you guys one more thing. So you can see here, I changed the, the system, the OS name to Aspect 10 64 And let's just start the OS in safe mode because I wanted to show you guys something. Now, I use programs like WinArrow Tweaker and Ultimate Windows Tweaker to tweak a lot of settings that you can't normally do in Windows. Like for, I used Ultimate Windows Tweaker to tweak how long it takes to shut down. Ultimate Tweaker, oh, oh, oh WinArrow Tweaker for the basic settings and yeah we're loading and uh, we have loaded in safe mode it just looks like an ordinary safe mode right now oh and yeah but by the way i forgot to mention i made this button smaller S so it's basically the size of the cursor now it's not how he it's like basically in my house if i open file explorer here you can see here it looks smaller on my host but that is because of the high resolution and yeah i don't have drivers installed on this because and I was going to compress it. Now, let me show you the restart time. It already started. Yes, it has no services. I don't know why I'm turning this on. Let me just shut it down. Now, let's set it shut down fully. Okay. Let's do what you all have been waiting for. The 1 gigabyte RAM test. 1024 megabytes. Confirm. Memory 1 gigabyte. 
start it up. And we're in. And this is running in one gigabyte of RAM. That was a bit of a slower logon. But right here, this is using one gig of RAM. When I uh, when this Mac was running Mac OS, I think it was it was OS ten El Capitan or some I don't remember. There's some sort of time in 2015 when my Mac only had 4 gigs of RAM, a slow hard drive, when I installed Windows 10 on it and set it to 1 gigabyte of RAM and it was unusable. Yeah, okay, this is running a 1 gigabyte of RAM. It feels smooth. I'm running directory listing. CD slash, CD Windows, oh wait, CD Windows, is it DIR? CD system 32, DIR, it's going to take forever, so let's pause that. So yeah. This OS should be finalized, I think, in about two weeks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the when I upload the final, video, the final release video. And as always, thanks for watching.